Great, so good afternoon. My name is Laura Runham and I'm the Product Manager for Enterprise Mobility and Security at Microsoft in the UK. And today I'm going to talk to you about security in a mobile-first, cloud-first world with a specific focus on identity-driven security. So organizations today, whether commercial or public sector, function best where there is trust. And throughout history, when there have been innovations in technology, there have also been attacks on that trust by those who wish to seek their own gain. For instance, with mail services came mail fraud, and with radio and telegraphs and television came wire fraud. And most recently, with the internet, has come um, cybercrime. And Microsoft stands for trust, and it's core to our mission. Our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And we do this through our technology, the solutions and services and devices that people use every day to get things done. We know that no one will trust technology unless it's secure. And we have a set of core principles that span across all of our cloud and on-premises technology. So transparency, we believe that our customers should understand how their data is being used and how our services are operated. Compliance, we work very closely with regulators and customers to define compliance and regulations, and we work to ensure that our services adhere to them. Apologies. Privacy and control. So we believe that you own your data and that you should have control over how it's used. And security. This is what we're going to talk more about today. Our holistic approach to security and how we can help to enable secure organizations. So we want to enable customers to take advantage of digital transformation and to embrace the technology that's available to them. And we have unique ways to do this. We have a secure platform of products and services. We have a unique depth and breadth of intelligence. And we have partnerships in the industry across technology, business and government. So threats have become more sophisticated and 14 years ago, Bill Gates recognized that this would be a challenge in the industry when he declared that trustworthy computing is a top priority from Microsoft. And we've made incredible strides since then, but our work is not done. So in the last year, around 2 billion records have been compromised by a variety of data breaches. The time between infiltration and detection is over 140 days. That's a really long time for somebody to be on your network stealing your data and for you not to know about them. And the costs are staggering. It's around $50 million to an organization per breach. But the costs to individuals, whether they be customers or employees or citizens, often cut even more deeply and can be more challenging to restore. And we all feel that pain. And at Microsoft, when we hear about a cyber attack, we ask two things. One, what can we collectively learn? And one, what can we do to help? So technology is the plane on which these attacks occur, but it's also the plane on which they can be fought. So there was a time when you were able to draw a line around your infrastructure, but then you discovered that your biggest opportunities are outside of the four walls of your organization. So opportunities to create deeper engagements with customers, to make your supply chain more efficient, to participate in marketplaces for goods and services, to increase seamless collaboration with partners, or to make cities smarter. And to fully embrace these opportunities inherently brings more risk. But risk isn't something that you should shy away from. It's something that you need to embrace and manage. And it's up to you to determine the level of risk that's most appropriate for your specific organization. So organizations that are looking at ways to take advantage of new technologies in more agile and cost-effective ways. And this has led to a proliferation of devices and endpoints. 
So you've added PaaS and SaaS applications. Um, you've decided that rather than manage devices yourself, you'll allow people to bring their own devices, such as smartphones, into your organization. And you've created entirely new endpoints with the Internet of Things. So you're using technology to manage things like shipping containers or fleets of vehicles or appliances or manufacturing equipment. And all of these endpoints transact data. And we've said before that data is the new currency, which makes these endpoints really valuable to your organization and also really valuable to anybody who wishes to compromise them. And because of this, the security perimeter has changed. It's now more distributed. It's always evolving and it's constantly under threat. And that means that your approach to security also needs to change. You need an approach that recognizes these new realities and one that can enable you to intelligently detect threats before they happen and act on them immediately. So this has led us to reevaluate our security posture. So most organizations have an approach that looks to protect, detect, and respond against threats. And that hasn't really changed much in the last 20 years. The basics stay the same. But what's changed at Microsoft is the way that we do this. So to protect, we're looking at ways to appropriately secure identity, data, applications, devices, and infrastructure, whether they be in the cloud or on-premise. And this requires an um, approach to security that looks across all of the endpoints in your organization, from sensors through to the data center. In the past, we um, relied on malware signatures to recognize threats and detect. But now we need an intelligent behavioral based approach to threat detection that enables us to rapidly recognize entirely new threats and act upon them immediately. Most organizations have invested in protection and detection, but I'd argue that we're collectively uninvested in um, responding to threats. And to do this well, we need to be um, in always assuming breach and operating in a constantly readiness mindset. So these new understandings have led us to develop new solutions for our customers, and they've informed our approach to three critical elements, platform, intelligence, and partners. So we're building a platform that looks holistically across all of the critical endpoints that I discussed earlier, a platform that has security built in, and we're also providing our customers with security technology and tools. We're acting on the intelligence that we're gaining to make sure that we're able to detect and respond to threats and act upon them immediately. And we're fostering a vibrant ecosystem of partners to help us to raise the bar in the industry. To improve your security posture, you need to be looking to secure across identity, devices, apps and data and infrastructure. And at Microsoft, our platform is constantly looking and focusing and we're investing in these areas to make sure that our customers and organizations are remaining secure. Intelligence is fundamental to identity-driven security. Without it, we can't detect and respond to threats in a timely way. Um, Microsoft collects trillions of insights from billions of data points, and we use this intelligence to um, support our customers. So earlier this year, we recognized, um, we discovered that there was a large-scale phishing attack that was targeted at hundreds of organizations, and we were able to step in and prevent um, any harm coming to their data, and we were able to, if they were Office 365 customers, automatically delete any emails before they could cause any harm to their business. So we have a unique depth and breadth of intelligence. We authenticate around 450 billion users every month. Every month we update 1 billion Windows devices. 
and we also analyse 400 billion emails for spam and malware, which makes us the largest anti-malware and antivirus service in the world. Identity is the foundation for enterprise mobility and it's fundamental to the security of an organization. At Microsoft, like most organizations, we were operating in an on-premise environment. We had an on-prem Active Directory, Windows service, server, and then other organizations may have another third-party directory. And this works well in an on-prem environment to authenticate users and provide single sign-ons to applications in our network. But like most organizations, we are embracing the cloud and introducing cloud apps and services. And this has meant that we have separate directories for all of these apps, separate logins and um, people needing um, to remember lots of usernames and passwords. <coughs> so our solution for this is Azure Active Directory, um, which enables users to log in with their on-prem account and access all of their cloud and um, applications and services with the same logon using a simple connection between the two. What's great about this is that if um, an employee leaves an organization, um, you're able to revoke their access to the on-prem directory and it will automatically revoke their access to all of the cloud applications as well. So the risk without having that is somebody may leave, you might revoke their access from the Active Directory, but actually they still have access to a cloud app like Salesforce. If they've left to go to a competitor and they've still got that login, they could go into your database and effectively still have access to your data. Um, another benefit of having an active, a cloud Active Directory like this is self-service password reset. So um, traditionally, um, users, if they forget their password, they may phone up your IT help desk um, to request for them to reset it. The cost of this, we're told, is about $10 per request. So if you add up how many users might be contacting a help desk every year, this is quite a significant cost. So to be able to enable users to reset their passwords themselves um, is quite a good benefit too. So at Microsoft, we recommend three steps to identity-driven security. Number one is protect at the front door. Number two is to protect your data against user mistakes. And number three is to detect attacks before they cause damage. So at Microsoft, we use our own technology. Enterprise mobility and security is a comprehensive solution that enables organizations to um, enable identity-driven security and managed mobile productivity. And this is my personal phone. It's an Apple iPhone running on iOS, and I access my work documents from this phone. So I use it for personal and I use it for work. And what's great is that today, for instance, I was here on the train. I wasn't able to get a seat because it was very busy. Um, so I couldn't open my laptop and edit the presentation for today, which I wanted to do. But because I have single sign-on capabilities and I can access work documents and edit and share them from my phone, I was able to access this presentation and still be productive on the go. Um, obviously, there are considerations around security with me having my device and being out and about and perhaps I'm not who I say I am. So there's multi-factor authentication on my phone. So I also accessed our Teams app for the first time today from this device. I've only used it on my desktop before. So because um, it's unusual behavior, I'm um, our technology recognizes when you're maybe accessing new apps or maybe accessing from a new device or perhaps even a different location. So if you were to, or your user account was to log in from London and then an hour later log in from New York, our technology would recognize that actually it's not physically possible to be in London and then in New York an hour later. So it would either block access or perhaps the way that it's set up, it would um, request that you verify your um, user identity using multi-factor authentication. So today when I was accessing Teams for the first time, I was asked to verify my identity. And there's numerous ways to do that. You can do it through receiving a phone call to your device or entering your password and credentials or a PIN. I have this set up so that I just use my fingerprint 
to verify who I am, which is really handy because I'm always have access to my fingerprint, it's unique to me, um, and it's very quick and easy to do. We know that 80% of um, employees admit to using unapproved SAS apps for doing work purposes, and we have um, a tool called Cloud App Security that provides organizations with visibility of all of the apps that are being used for corporate purposes um, you know, that corporate data is going into across their business from one dashboard and they're able to, um, you know, revoke access to those if required, which is um, great for security on the go. Something that's um, very important is the labeling and classification um, ability within EMS. So we want to enable our employees to work wherever they are. And sometimes organizations will, you know, go quite heavy on their security and lock everything down and restrict their employees from accessing things that they need to be productive for fear that it may compromise, compromise their data. Um, we've actually got labeling and classification rules that help to manage user behavior and to educate users about what they should and shouldn't maybe be doing. So for instance, I have um, personal email accounts on here as well as work email accounts. And if I were to forward a work email with confidential data in to a personal email, I either would not be able to, depending on how it's been classified, or I would get a prompt to say, you're about to forward corporate data to a personal environment, do you want to do this? And it will make me think, oh, actually, no, I didn't realize unknowingly I could have been compromising data. So it's a great way to influence behavior. Um, another thing is that I'm unable to copy and paste from a corporate application into a personal application. What's great from my perspective as an employee is that the management um, that Microsoft has on my phone um, is only on the corporate data and application. So this is unique to Microsoft that it can identify between corporate and personal data. So if I were to leave the organization, Microsoft would be able to remove all of the corporate information from my phone, but all of my personal information like family photos or apps or emails would remain. So EMS enables organizations to empower a mobile and productive workforce while still maintaining security over its corporate information. It's one of the solutions that is available on the secure Microsoft platform.